From ABC7, this is Midday Live. And we have some new information just coming into the newsroom this morning and last night's car to car shooting in San Francisco. We're learning one person is now arrested. Another person detained. Thanks for being here. I'm Julian Glover. I'm Reggie Aki. This gun battle broke out early yesterday evening. Six people got hurt and four of them were just bystanders. So we're just getting word from Supervisor Aaron Peskin that the suspect who has been placed under arrest is in the hospital in critical condition with a gunshot wound to the chest. Police also saying that he was in that black SUV involved in the shooting. A woman who was in the SUV is the person who's been detained. She is also in the hospital right now. And Supervisor Peskin is also telling us that police say those involved in the shootout are from Pittsburgh. ABC 7 News reporter Ryan Curry shows us the reaction at this popular tourist area. Caution tape still up at the scene of a gun battle near Pier 39. Police say people in two cars exchanged gunfire just before 7 p.m. Sunday night. They got into a chase down in Barcadero and shot at each other again right near the ferry building. Witnesses, many of them tourists, described it as a chaotic scene. Now, business owners at Pier 39 hope this incident doesn't affect tourism. We see this thing again happen all over the nation in cities that get traveled and, you know, and, and high tourist areas. So I, I, I hope it doesn't have an impact on people choosing San Francisco because it is still a beautiful city. Bob Partwright, the manager of the Eagle Cafe, says tourism this year has been great. Many people from out of state and out of country have come to visit Pier 39. The shooting happened off Pier 39 property, and police say it was targeted and not random. Partwright wants people to know the shooting shouldn't deter you from coming to the area. Anytime something like happens, it's tragic and very unfortunate, and it's a disruption, obviously, mm -hmm. to anyone in the area. SFPD says they located one of the cars near the second shooting scene. They say two people inside had suffered gunshot wounds and one of them has life-threatening injuries. Partwright says despite the shooting, Pier 39 has plenty of security and he considers it a safe place to spend a day in the city. 24-hour security is here to keep us safe and protected. And, you know, again, this kind of thing can happen anywhere. We did reach out to San Francisco police for an update on the investigation. We're waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, business owners here at Pier 39 say that since today is a holiday, they expect it to be very busy. In San Francisco, Ryan Curry, ABC 7 News. And we are hearing from people who were right in the middle of the gunfire near Pier 39. Two adult siblings were heading to the beach in an SUV when they say two bullets hit their windshield. Both were hurt by broken glass. One of them told ABC 7 News that he had to get on the ground and use that SUV as cover from the gunfire. Shootings are going on everywhere, just like... Uh be ready to like hit the ground and dodge bullets if something does happen. Just happy to be alive. I'm good. He says at first they thought it was fireworks going off nearby and that they are lucky they didn't get hit themselves during the shooting.